Good evening. Thank you for being here tonight. That noise you heard over the past hour was the sound of the air rushing out of British Columbia. The Boston Bruins have stuck a pin in the Canucks balloon again tonight. It's game six. The first period still underway. A win tonight, and it's still possible that that could happen, would crown the Canucks Stanley Cup champions. But a loss, and that looks like that could be the result tonight, and it'll be a winner-take-all game seven Wednesday night back in Vancouver. That looks like that's going to be in our future, despite all of the best rituals and superstitions and whatever else you were doing to send good energy the Canucks way. Here's A News reporter Aaron Glazier. So game time. I'm ready to go. Louis DeMello pulls on his lucky logoed gloves, hoping to witness his beloved Vancouver Canucks capture a game six thriller tonight against the Boston Bruins. It's a nail biting game tonight. Like uh, before, all the games are tough, but especially the last one, my nail starts to bleed. Even he admits it's an odd playoff game ritual, but one that saves his digits from destruction. It's my daughter's advice, so uh, it, it's been working, but sometimes I can't, I can't. I still bite and through the, through the gloves. Louis is not alone. Before taking to the ice for their pregame skate, the team plays hallway soccer. But among this crowd, the usual facial fuzz was nowhere to be found. Where's your playoff beard? My playoff beard? This is it. The, the wife made me shave, so. Missing in Vancouver, the flame at the Olympic Cauldron. The Premier opted not to relight it after back-to-back -back losses in games three and four, despite the Canucks winning game five. From pint-sized puck handlers. Go Canucks, go! To lunchbox heroes and even my cameraman. Victoria's Centennial Square was alive with Canucks spirit at noon, playing out on the pavement the game day superstition of pick up shinny prior to puck drop. It's so much fun to just be able to watch people walking through the square and drop in and, you know, in and out and kids and adults alike. It's tons of fun. Oh, I love it. I grew up in a hockey family. We all played hockey and this is great. Dare I ask, is that how you lost some of your teeth? Yes, yeah. This, says Skevington, is the grin you'll see if the Canucks win. Boldly predicting this series ends tonight. I think it's two to one for the Canucks. Two one Canucks, and I think uh, Manny Malhotra is going to score the winning goal. I don't know if I can. I can take Game Seven. I think this has taken about ten years off my life. So, <laughs> so where will you be watching the game? Uh, not much. Sit in the same chair, and uh, that's about it. Or amongst friends when that winning goal goes in. We've been watching with the same group of people for the entire playoff run, and. Yeah, nobody else is allowed to watch now because we, don't, we can't have anybody else, you know, bad luck. Fans in Boston are confident the Canucks can pull it off. What's going to happen is we're going to win the Stanley Cup, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Making for an epic celebration in pubs and on streets across the province. Let's check in with Aaron, who's live at Hockey House in Victoria. Aaron, uh, someone out there by the looks of the scoreboard obviously uh, wasn't following their own superstition. Was it you? It was not me, Hudson. Uh, I come here every game, and so far it has been a lucky place, but definitely not tonight. Knocks down 4 nothing at the moment with the first period winding down, and I know one of Roberto Longo's pregame superstitions rather was to walk the boardwalk uh, in Vancouver, the seawall. Obviously, he wasn't able to do that before game six. Maybe that's the problem. Hope, Aaron. Thank you. You're welcome.